It's DIY time. Going. Hope you guys are doing good. Now today I wanted to share with you guys a quick DIY tip. And it's not something that's brand new. It's something that many of people have probably done and have done. But I had to do it myself and thought I'd share with you guys what it is and why and how I'm gonna do it. So not long ago I did a video on how to keep planted aquariums in a symbiotic relationship with guppies and how to make it easy. Well, as you can see from this Rishia here, has grown a lot. A ton. Oh, we got somebody who wants to say hello. You want to say hi, Sparky? You need to go outside? Alright, let me let this cat out. I'll be all Alright, anyways. Now, getting back to it, what I was getting to is this ring right here. A lot of this Rishias was taking over the tank and all these inler tanks that I have like no equipment running in. If you want to check out the video on that symbiotic relationship, it's in my playlist, not too far down. Anyways, this is like a feeding disc for inlers and guppies. And it pretty much works like this. You can ask food in here, and this way the plants won't take over the whole top of the tank. And it leaves an open spot for you to feed your inlers and guppies or for the food to actually get down into it. And they start learning where the food's going to be coming, which is kind of nice and easy. You don't have to try to dodge putting pieces here, putting pieces there, putting pieces here. It's just pretty handy. So now I'm going to show you how I made this. It's pretty quick and easy. Alright, so here are the items I used. An air hose and a valve for an airline, which I get these with my air pumps for free. Now, if you don't have this, you can use a straw. Now, with the airline, you can pretty much customize it. I like to just lay it down kind of in its natural form, so you're not like fighting it. But you can see how it kind of just forms within itself. If you want a small ring, you make a small ring, big ring, yada yada. So, I actually need a bigger ring for my 75 eventually, so I might as well make it now. So, I'll make it about yay big. Good. So, there you go, I got two of them now, if I want to make two. But, you can use the straw, like so. But I don't really like the red, you can cut that or whatever, tie it in. But I don't really like the red, I'd rather have the black. And since I happen to have these, and they fit the airline, I kind of put it tilted up a little bit on the side of it. Once again, let it kind of lay naturally, so you're not like trying to put it and tie it up like this, where it's all twisted up. Just let it lay naturally. And then, get the other side in. And there you have it. A simple, easy DIY feeding ring. Look, they're already interested. And it should float there forever. That way, whenever this reach you, if it ever gets going, it'll take off. I'm trying to grow some stems in it, too. I've done it before. I'm going to try to do it again. All right. Oh. All right, everybody. So there you go. A quick DIY tip. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your brother, brother, or sister, and cousin all about LR Brett's Aquatics and all the cool things I'm doing over here. But as always, oh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys learned something. Till next time, everybody. Peace.